in Africa. In Africa. Amiya in it in only known as Swazi. A kingdom full of mysteries and history. Behind me there's a central market, a, a place where you can get a bus to anywhere in the country or outside this country. A place of a lot of culture, a lot of identity, and one thing I noticed is that they have two languages, and English. So if you don't speak the local language, you get away by speaking English. This is reconnecting Africa in its Swatini, one of the smallest countries in Africa with a very friendly population. Mostly they are Bantu people. They got a lot of culture, a lot of traditions, very peaceful. And yes, this is reconnecting Africa here in its Latin. So if you haven't subscribed, please. Subscribe, like, comment, game for this is reconnecting Africa. Tell me, my sister, what, what do you tell about your country to people that don't know? Uh, our country is a beautiful country. We have beautiful places like um, hotels per se. Um, what else? Like a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you like most about your country? Uh, the culture, of course. Yeah. What culture are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Traditional culture, like yeah. uh, what's this? Uh, umshanga. What's that? Uh, umshanga, it's where uh, girls, virgin girls of course, uh, go to Elutiti, to a place yeah. uh, where they like show off their dances, the, they are um, um, traditional attire and everything. Mm. Yeah, and then we have um, Emakan, okay. which is coming like next month, I think. Okay. So, yeah. Tell me personally, have you been there? Wait, mm. I've never. I've never. Wish you went there once. Yeah. Or not, it's not like, eligible. <laughs> I wish I went there while I was young, but mm. yeah, I couldn't. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, tell me thing about Lobolo. Lobolo. Okay. Uh, Lobolo, it's just basically where it's a traditional um, wedding, I can say. Yeah, well, the guy has to pay, like, is it? I don't, I don't, I actually don't know very well this thing, so I'll just tell you brief about it. But it's when the, the male, like the husband, like, um, pays either cows or money for, for, for her spouse, his yeah. spouse. So, yeah. yeah I, I respect that. I respect Lobolo. Yeah. And uh, in my personal opinion, I think Lobolo is something that Africa should keep it. Mm -hmm. the, uh, outside, uh, people outside Africa don't understand, especially other cultures. Yes. Uh, white people don't understand that the Lobolo is sort of an appreciation to the parents. It's not, it's mm -hmm. not a sort of buying the person no. you know, because a mom or, or father raised that girl for mm -hmm. since they were baby so yeah. makes sense to really reco not recompense but saying thank you mom thank you dad mm -hmm. for giving me this beautiful wife today you know what I mean? that's the way i think it no yeah basically no. yeah and people gotta understand that yeah yeah what are the things that the people don't know about a, a part of uh, the ladies going to the king and doing that uh, what are the traditions that the people don't know about in Swatin? Uh, other traditions? Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know that much about, you know. Mm. I just have like few information, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. This is Reconnecting Africa. Uh -huh. And uh, we are here in, in Swatin just showing beautiful things about this beautiful kingdom. So we are in a country where we believe in peace. So that peace mostly 
it relies from relying on God. Mm. The more we impact our people with the word of God, we are able to have a peaceful land. We are able to resolve things by peace through the word of God. Mm. We encourage each other. Mm. Although we believe in traditions, we believe in religion, but mostly our primary impact is the word of God. Mm. That's why we go and evangelize people, bring hope to people effortlessly. We commit ourselves, though a lot of struggles are there in our country since young people, they graduated, they don't get jobs, so they stay with their degrees at home, they struggle. So we try with the word of God to change their lives, bring God, bring hope, encourage them, pray for them, mm. teach them good things. Because mm. if we pray for the young people, we are changing our entire society. Mm -hmm. So for now, that is how we are managing to have that peace, we are managing to have a stable land. Okay, so you tell me that Swaziland is a peaceful country comparing, oh, Iswatin is a very peaceful country comparing to other countries in Africa. Yes, I have went to, to South Africa, I've seen violence, mm. people carrying guns. I've seen a lot of troubles in other countries, mm. but in this country, mm. you find that there is a lot of peace, really that you'll see people doing violence. Okay. So the law is very strict. Mm -hmm. So the only problem that is taking our peace is employment. Mm -hmm. If there can be employment, allow the youth, especially the graduates to work, give them opportunity to work, that will open a great door. Mm -hmm. It will bring, bring more peace. It will mm -hmm. make Swaziland to be a home. That's the only thing that is more essential for this country okay. for peace. Just going to change a little bit the topic here. You mentioned tradition. I want sort of uh, go deep into tradition. But one thing that I like always to talk on this channel is about some tradition that been going around for years and years in Africa altogether about Lobola. What's, what's your opinion on Lobola? Yes, Lobola is, is is, there's two types, two types, like before you pay Lobola, you have to commit the lady by paying the bride price. Mm. We call it Gutega, okay. where they will carry a gold, just dedicate the lady to the ancestors. Then the uh, Lobola part is when you are paying the cows, you are rewarding the family of the girl, making a covenant mm. that now we will be one family, so that is Lobola. Mm. So uh, that tradition, it makes a good wife because he will not go, he is taught by the elders about the things in the future for holding a family, raising a family, mm. raising the children. So Lobola is just, you are connect the girl with the ancestor of the groom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you think Lobola is something that the, uh, Africa altogether should keep it. It is a good thing because it avoids the single parents. Mm -hmm. Like you will find that the, the children will be raised by both parents. It brings responsibility okay. even to the society. Mm -hmm. What's another thing that the people don't know about, about Iswatini that you like people to know? Things that they don't know about Iswatini is that Swaziland has, has a higher education system. The education has evolved and coming to Swaziland to gain knowledge is very good. So the education center is very perfect. Mm. The other thing is just that Swaziland is ruled by the king, ruled by the monarch. Mm. So it's a very good country. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of laws in this country some are good if you are going to be able to rely on them, respect mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of sectors. Swaziland is really good. So mm -hmm. it's the education. Mm -hmm. the edu what message do you have for your African brothers in the other countries? For my African brothers, I can say that they can visit Swaziland 
come and equip their, themselves through education skills. It is a good country. They don't ask you a lot of things mm. when you want to study here. They don't ask you a lot of things when you want to stay. Mm. Unlike in other countries, they will force mm. you to have a lot of papers. Mm -hmm. So Switzerland is a very open country. Mm -hmm. You can come in Switzerland. A lot of Africans were taken from Africa and they love to return to Africa. Even though they were born here, they would love to come to Africa. We're talking about people in America and Brazil, Jamaica, England, a lot of black people that were not born here. Even their fathers were not born here, but they're Africans and they would love to come to Africa. What do you tell them? What I can say is that they should return to our country because we are a society where we grow with knowledge. Mm -hmm. When they come overseas, they will come and impact us with knowledge. Mm -hmm. There is no more apartheid, there is no more slavery. They can come to Africa. It's just that all we need to come and invest in mm -hmm. our country, okay. invest a lot of business here. Mm -hmm. establish our own country my brother pastor thank you so much for your insight thank you f so much for your time this is all about africa all about swatin it's good to know more about other countries swatin is very close to other countries in africa very small country peaceful country and a lot of people love to come and visit so nice to hear from you and i'll thank you this is reconnecting africa traveling here in Iswatini, a peaceful land, a kingdom, a small kingdom, but powerful kingdom. So for you that are outside Africa, you more than welcome to come to Iswatini or another place in Africa. Come and visit Africa, come see the food, come see the culture, come see your sisters and brothers that you never met. Thank you so much, my brother, again. And until next time, I'll say reconnecting Africa. Bye-bye. <laughs>